Um, my name is Margaret Ann Windsor, and I'm giving just a bit of information in case you've never seen any of my videos or Facebook. <clears throat> I was kidnapped from Buckingham Palace in 41, and brought to, I was two years old, and I was brought to Moulton, Alabama, and given the name of a twin, Peggy Ann Dempsey Childers. And the other twin was Carl, and both twins were dead. They were killed by their mother, who was unwed back then. And um, now then, so she would have faced the death penalty, etc. And I can only assume that I was dropped off at the um, air base that was being built there in 41. And Joe Kennedy was ambassador to Great Britain, appointed by Roosevelt, 36 to 46, he and my uncle uh, George, who became the illegal George the Sixth, helped take down my father, King Edward the Eighth, and helped kidnap me in '39. Uh, now you've got. Let me say this first. My father never wed Wallace Simpson. They used an imposter, and they became the Duke and Duchess of Windsor. Well, it was a false name, but. They stole my father's identity, really, too. My father was legally wed to Claudia Ruth O'Keefe, Irish-American Catholic. And it was part of the Windsors who have sold me out, have sold Great Britain out, and helped in my kidnapping and the ongoing cover-up of my kidnapping. The media won't touch it because the Rothschilds, Rockefellers, Bilderbergers helped in the kidnapping, the New World Order. And they control your press. And quite frankly, people here in this country think it's a joke anyway uh, that they could uh, celebrate the 4th of July and then get away with um, my kidnapping and installing their own monarch, George the Sixth and Elizabeth, who are illegal. Thus, all the nice pictures you see about little George named after him. The man that kidnapped me and took down Great Britain and took down his own brother with lies and put a 99-year seal on it. He, he signed illegal treaties allowing the United States to put military bases all over everything British and use it as a launching pad to control the world, which they do right at this moment in this country and the New World Order. Now I wanted to get to what I was saying, uh, I was going to say on this tape. I uh, wrote a mail before I found out about my real name, and excuse me for showing my fingers and everything here. I'm in pain and I can't move hardly. Um, but I found out about my kidnapping and night kidnapping and who my parents are and who I am, Victoria the Second, the legal heir, not Elizabeth. Um, in 83, late, late 83, after I'd been in a political campaign to replace a doctor I'd written about, Larry McDonald. Uh, he was a U.S. congressman, and his plane was uh, went down on August 31st of 83. And it was shot down when the KAL passenger plane he was on was shot down when it veered into Russian airspace. And so all aboard were killed. Supposedly, McDonald was on there. Um, you know, I don't know. That's here and there. I've heard that he was, that he was taken off. Because I'll say this, Geraldo was reportedly on that plane, and Nixon, and Nixon was taken off in Juneau, Alaska. So you can go from there. Now, I wrote about mind control murders. I'd worked for doctors, and uh, I had researched, and et cetera. And I knew that one of the doctors, cardiovascular, had inserted chips into a head of a corporation, really, when he uh, <clears throat> did a heart uh, trans a heart bypass or anyway. Um, I'm not into all the medical. In fact, people should ask where, what background I have for all this. I learned it. I paid a price for it. I tried to tell the truth. And I'm opposite of the way people try to portray me here in this country. They, what was done to my father has been done to me and my children here. Uh, I'm a beautiful woman who's been through hell telling the truth about what this country did to me and didn't want to. And they found joy in it. And I'll quote um, an FBI agent in Atlanta in 82. I had gotten a letter from them 
uh, June the 23rd of uh, 79, saying it was an ongoing investigation, national security involved. I thought it was because of the book. But I had antifreeze put in me April the 1st of 80, and when I was back there in FBI headquarters, the agent said to me, and he faked yawning like he was bored, and he said it's only when they find how it affects them that they'll care. Now then, I'm going to, and one of them also said, Noe, that uh, this was in 83, 80, no, 84. He said to me, he said, you know, they've made it so ludicrous that people know you're telling the truth. They're given the chance to help you or walk away. Well, they didn't walk. They ran the opposite way. They didn't help me. They helped hurt me. Now then, while I've got some space on here, the mind control murders were done in patterns, and they have still been done over the years, and I came to Roanoke, Virginia, uh, October of 86. I actually had everything shut down, jobs, everything, couldn't get a place to live, stay, uh, uh, lived on the Appalachian Trail, star, froze, etc., and people watched it, and um I told about the mind controller troll murders that were still being done in patterns, and they know who the agency is that's doing it, and law enforcement is in on it. They're afraid of it. Uh, so I could give lists and lists, but right now I'm going to say this. Uh, the Virginia Tech, uh, April the 16th of um, 07, that mass was done, and the Korean student ended up shooting himself, and being called deranged when his mind controller, a weapon was used on him without his knowledge. Now then, the psychiatrist at Fort Hood and the Sandy Hook, and I can go on, because they go way back before, uh, even before I did the book. So now I'm going to jump fast forward to, I tried telling about people being programmed to snatch, your ki snatch kids and kidnap. And I could go into the J.C. Dugard, and I can go into a whole list of those. And I've stopped telling about them because I, I actually had people tell me they helped the cops because I'm, a, I'm allergic to chemicals, and they have actually used that. My immune system attacks itself, and, I mean, you literally can die. And over the years, it causes, ana uh, well, I say antifreeze, that's what they put in me, and way back then, and I'm going to have to do another tape, and it's just, I can't, because you have to give background. I'm going to say this, Alexis Murphy, uh, Alexis Tierra Murphy was one of the mind control murders done here, and the man is, uh, I forgot his last name, it's up near Charlottesville, and he's going to trial um, May, about this May about the 3rd, I believe. And everybody around here knows that Morgan Harrington uh, was kidnapped. She went to Virginia Tech, and um, her parents, her father's a psychiatrist. And, and um, anyway, where I'm living, um, this is going to go off. Everybody, everywhere I've gone, it's been controlled. And I live at affordable corporate suites again, quite frankly, because I've had to come back here. And they have soaked me in chemicals to save their jobs or because the cops got something on them. They didn't have to do it. They had options. What they've done is assault with intent. And now then, I was run from the last place after suffering 14 months there, and I've got shingles from it. That's another immune. It's caused from the soaking of uh, me with chemicals and lowering my immune system. Now then, it's lowered again. I came back here at Affordable and they're doing the same thing to me all over again. It's not going to stop until Great Britain can get me out of it, if they can. They're hostages themselves. Now, then, the other day, I told them everywhere I've gone, and they totally know it here. And I asked them not to use it. I even had shingles now, which is made worse by the chemicals and the stress it causes. I get so sick. She came in about three days ago. I let her in because they say they have to or are they going to throw me out. So she came in, and I don't know what all she did, but you should see my back. The shingles have come back in full force. They're all over my back. I can hardly stand it. And I go in to pay my rent, and the manager says, you know, my daughter's now.